demonstration of how we at Quizlines are using ChatGPT to save teachers time creating quizzes. In fact, you can use ChatGPT to create a quiz in, in seconds um, rather than the, the, the many minutes uh, that you might be taking today to create quizzes. We'll start by going straight to quizlines.com and I'm typing it in the, in the browser there. Um, and all you need to do is click on Teachers Start Here, it's free. Um, now, um, you'll be then given the option to, to sign up in various ways. You can sign up with just your email and a password if you want to. Um, if you are a Google Classroom teacher, I definitely recommend using the Sign Up Google Classroom because if you do that, you'll be able to then later um, assign quizzes to your class uh, in, in uh, using Google Classroom and then it will appear in the students' uh, Google Classroom feed. Um, and also their, their quiz results will go back into your gradebook, but you can sign up in any way you like. I've already signed up, so I'm going to just log in. Now, um, you can launch the our ChatGPT quiz creator on the right here with the instant question bank, but teachers have been liking this so much, we decided let's just make it part of the main UI. So you can actually just go to the, to the main search box um, and type something here. So let's type in American Civil um, War. So um, as you can see here, um, it's thrown up a bunch of quizzes that other teachers have created about the American Civil War, lots of amazing quizzes here. But on the right, we've already automatically launched our chat GPT based question bank creator. So this is creating questions not from um, the quizzes that other teachers have already created about this. This is just creating questions about this, um, you know, um, using its own database of, of knowledge from natural uh, English language. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, as you can see, it's generating these questions in real time. Now, if we want to create a, a quiz using these questions, you know, using this question bank, in fact, all we need to do is click on, click on one of them and it'll throw up um, our quick quiz creator. So we've got the question bank on the right here um, and the quiz we're creating on the left. Um, so um, which battle marked the turning point of the American Civil War, the Battle of Gettysburg? Um, I'm no expert in the American Civil War, but assume that is correct. We can add that to our quiz. Uh, what was the Union's Army's main strength? Let's have a look at that question. Um, strategy during the American Civil War, the Anaconda Plan. Yeah, I like that question. Let me add that too. And I can go through each of these questions, deciding which ones I want to, to add to my quiz. Now, um, I can actually uh, quite often retype in the same uh, query or a slightly different one. Maybe I want to um, find out some questions about the Emancipation, uh, emancipation proclamation, pro proclamation. So if I type in uh, Emancipation proclamation um, and to go it's now going to think up questions specifically about that kind of little um, sub sub area there um, and generate me questions of that now and I can add them to my existing quiz so like oh maybe I want to know uh, test my students on what year the emancipation proclamation was issued so let's add that that question as well um, and did it immediately free all the slave people it didn't. Um, let's add that one as well. So I've now created my quiz here. Fantastic. And I can I can keep doing that, putting in new queries, researching the same query. Quite often, if you put the same query in twice, it will actually generate um, quite different answers for you. So that's a really good little tip there. But once I've created it, um, I can either export it as a Google form. In fact, we're adding more exporters. We want you to be able to export it for, for any product. We think it's such a fantastically useful tool. Why, why limit it just to Quizalize? But you can export it to Google Forms. A lot of our teachers um, like to use both Quizalize and, and Google Forms for the more serious quizzes. Um, Quizalize for the more fun, in-classroom, informative stuff. Um, but you can export it as a Google Form. I'm not going to do it now. I'm just going to do play or edit in Quizalize. So here, when you play or edit, it's saved. And we've gone to the, the quiz preview page where we can now assign it to our class. But of course, um, and we can preview the quiz questions here ourselves, but you know, maybe we want to edit those questions first before we, we give it to the class. Maybe we want to add some more questions ourselves. So we can go to the, um, the Quizalize quiz editor. Um, all right, all these questions are there already. We could add our, our own new questions there, or perhaps we want to you know, change the nature of this question. It's automatically been generated as a multiple choice, but you know, maybe we want to sh change it to a, a type and answer question or, or even a scrambled letter question. I particularly like scrambled letter questions. So you know, here I've changed it to a scrambled letter question um, and let's preview this quiz before we give it to our students. Um, so great, yes, you know, 
bit of a difficult scrambled letters questions but which battle marked the turning point of the, of the american civil war um and you know we could we could start uh, filling in that that answer there you know using the scrambled letter question so that gives you a very quick um summary of how to use um um the 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 Quizalize um, quiz editor um, and AI chat uh, GPT question bank creator. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And um... so, yes, that was a quick demo of how to use chat GPT to help you create quizzes in, in seconds rather than in many minutes. And I think that's really transformative. It's not just a time saver if you think about it. Not only does it mean that you can you can generate your quizzes much quicker, but it also changes the way you can now use things products like quizalizer much more opportunistically if you finish your class 10 minutes early you now know that you can create a quiz in in, in a minute um and play it as a fun classroom quiz game at the end of the class you don't have to have pre-planned it anymore and i think that's really exciting too it transforms the way you can um use uh applications like quizalizer in the classroom um so um yes why don't you give it a quick demo now go to quizalize.com um, and try and create your own quiz. Uh, and if you create it, I'd love to see what you've come up with. You can always um, tweet me, uh, Charles Wiles, on, on Twitter, um, or, 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 or send us an email. You can contact us um, at any time at, um, on support at quizlize.com. Um, or you can use, uh, if you log into Quizlize, you can use the on-site chat and you know, we, we, we try to get back to you very quickly.